Good morning YouTube. Today in front of the camera today we have four ampi meters. The, the type is 5196A. All four of these come from the same seller off a, a popular auction website. Um, they've all got the same reading on them. Uh, in fact the uh, serial numbers are very similar. Um, here we have uh, 758, um, 762, 765 and interestingly 766. All of these have been, I assume, reset to zero and then tested to 0.33 kilowatt hours which is what is on all of these. Now they're all connected up in series so um and they go to my three kilowatt kettle there um because it's that time again for a cup of tea so let's switch on and watch them all turn on at the same time they go through a display test and then they all show a version number on the screen uh, at the moment <clears throat> the red indicator led is on as the um, anti creep uh, function of the meter. So if they if it's below a certain amount, I don't know exactly what it is. Um, the anti creep feature comes on, um, uh, just basically stops the um, kilowatt hours clicking up for for uh, when it's below a certain load limit. Um, right, so. Let's have a quick look at these close up because I don't I think it's quite hard to get the the reading on the screen there. Uh, yeah, maybe if I just um switch the light on. See if that's any better. Uh, that's not really made much of a difference really. Let's uh, there we go. As you can see point three three point three three Point three three and point three three. So uh, let's turn the kettle on and uh, watch these go. So as you can see, hopefully we'll see them all flash at the same time. Ah, they've all clicked up point one already. Now interestingly the the lights are now not flashing at the same time so there's obviously a bit of a difference there between the four of them. However the interestingly the numbers appear to be clicking up at the same time. And because it's point it's uh, got two decimal places um, for every 10 flashes of the LED there you get uh, 0 0.01 of a kilowatt hour 100 flashes is 0 0.1 of a kilowatt hour and then a thousand as you can see written there is a thousand flashes of these is a one kilowatt hour total so uh, the kettle's boiling now So we started off with 0 0.33, now it's 0 0.40, so that is a total of 0 0.09 of a kilowatt hour. No, that was wrong. That's me not being able to do maths in my head. <laughs> uh, so. So characteristics of these meters is uh, 20 to 100 amp, um, single phase, two wire. Uh, these are all rated at 230 volts. Um, I believe these were made in 2003. They've all got that stamped on them. All of these meters have got the same markings on them. Uh, 
Um, now these ones, these ones are not really particularly interesting because these are solid state. Um, these are going to be used for uh, monitoring things like fridge frizzes, fridges, that type of thing. Um, we're going to have one connected up to the TV um, and see. I'm just going to take regular readings, sort of uh, maybe once a year. Just keep an eye on how we're using our energy here. <clears throat> Uh, as you know, I've got another version of one of these. Um, that doesn't show the uh, the two decimal places. It just shows whole kilowatt hours, um, which can be found on my YouTube channel. So there we have it. A test of all four kilowatt hour meters. Thanks for watching.